Right, bruv, this is fucking important because I see a lot of impressionable young men looking up to people like Hamza and, you know, these self-improvement YouTubers and all this kind of stuff. And I see these young men who are very, very easily led taking things to the absolute extreme in terms of self-improvement and this kind of stuff. First of all, I made a community post the other day. It's currently July the 20th and I made a community post and it dropped today, right? And it was just pictures of me in the club smiling and laughing and having a good time in the club and i titled it something like lost in the moment right just literally just me having a good time there's no alcohol in the pictures there's no not even any girls in the pictures it's just me smiling in the club with the boys that's it and i got so many comments not so many but a couple of comments from either religious guys or just pure incels that have no social skills and they never go outside and can't get any women commenting things like haram 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 degenerate degenerate lost in degeneracy trying to be funny and I'm just thinking so many things, right? So many things that we need to address about this because number one, it's not your business how other people live their life. That is the first thing I need to cover. It has none of your business at all how I want to live my life. If you are religious and that is haram to you, okay, or that's degenerate in your eyes, fair enough. Why are you in my comments then? Why are you watching my YouTube videos then? If, that's, if I'm haram, if I'm, I'm clearly not a religious individual, am I? You've heard the stories I've told. I'm clearly not religious. So get out of my comments. <laughs> You're a fully grown man wasting your time in somebody else's comments that you think is a degenerate. Doesn't that just make you a degenerate? And that's number two. Let's identify what actually is a, de a degenerate. What is that? What does the word mean? Now, from my understanding, a degenerate is an individual that has no goals, no ambition, no, no positive life path. His trajectory in life is simply going down. It's simply negative. It's deteriorating. That's a degenerate. So for you to define me by one action that I take and call me a degenerate is just simply foolish. It's just ignorant. It really is. That's like saying, oh, okay, I never, ever watch porn or masturbate ever. But I decided one night to masturbate and watch porn. That does not make me a wanker. I just simply did an action. So stop trying to define yourself as something by your actions. Your actions are they're literally fluctuating it's something that comes and goes you don't define who you are as a character by your actions i can go on a night out get absolutely blackout wasted i can't even remember the night out and then still wake up the next morning and do more in my day productivity wise than you have done in your entire week does that make me a degenerate clearly not because i have goals i have ambitions my character my mindset is on a positive trajectory. So therefore, I'm simply not a degenerate. Do you understand? A degenerate is someone that literally doesn't care about their life. It's someone that wakes up and just thinks, fuck it, I'm just going to chase hedonism. I'm going to chase pleasure because I don't care about my life. That's the only thing that feels good. I care about my life. And just the fact that I have that intention in my heart about my life makes me simply not a degenerate. So with that covered, let's discuss Hamza and the whole self-improvement space and this extremist mindset that not only I used to have, but what I see a lot of you boys having as well. Now, I used to have the mindset of literally black or white, all or nothing. It's either I, I'm a drinker and I drink alcohol or I never, ever drink ever again for the rest of my life. I either play video games or I never play them ever again for the rest of my life. That mindset for everything, literally everything. I either use social media or I never use it again. It's such an unhealthy and toxic and restrictive mindset for you as a human being. As a human being, and bro, the reason why you guys keep relapsing on porn, even though you say that you never want to watch porn ever again, the reason why you keep relapsing on it is because you're telling yourself, I'm on self-improvement. I'm not allowed to do this ever again. You're restricting yourself of freedom. Give yourself the option. Give yourself the choice to do whatever you want to do in your life, whatever you want to do, and then simply decide which one is more positive for you. So in the porn situation, for a lot of you guys that are relapsing on porn all the time, if you were to simply allow yourself the option of watching porn, but then simply decide not to, that would be a lot more healthy for you and a lot more sustainable for you than saying, well, I'm on self-improvement, so I can't masturbate. I'm on no fap, so I can't watch porn. Number one, this stuff is just nerdy. This weird, I'm on self-improvement shit is just nerdy as fuck. It's for children. It literally is for lost little boys. If you are a fully grown man and you're walking around saying, I'm on self-improvement, just what are you doing? I'm on no fap. What? I don't masturbate, I do not watch porn. That is it. Those actions are negative, so I do not do them. I'm living my own life, I am my own individual. I'm not a sheep. I'm not on a movement following some, some path that's been guided out to me. I'm living my own life, I'm doing what I want to do. That's what life's about to me. Do what you wanna do, live your own life. You live once. 
and you walk around telling yourself, well, I can never, ever, ever play video games ever again, otherwise I'm a failure, I'm a loser. I will literally sit there and play video games and absolutely shit on everyone, destroy everyone in the video game lobby while doing push-ups all the time, and then get up and still make more money than you've made all week. I will literally do that. And then go on a night out the night after. Do you know why? Because it's not about the actions themselves. It's about your characters, about your mindset, it's about how you perceive the world. I want to enjoy my fucking life while I build my empire. And for me, going out on a night out and drinking every now and then is fun as fuck. I love it. It's so fucking fun. I can't stop laughing because I'm having so much fun. That genuinely brings me 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10 enjoyment. I love it. And I'm not on self-improvement. So get out of my comments saying, oh, you're a degenerate. You're no, I'm fucking not. I'm living my life and I'm simply teaching you what I've learned. Now, because I want success, because I want to improve my life, because I want great things in this world, that simply makes me not a degenerate. If I didn't care about my life, fair enough. I understand why you guys are doing it. Why the ignorant guys come in my comments and hate on me. I understand it because I'm supposed to be a life coach. Yeah, I'm going out to the clubs. Well, uh, Hamza said you're not allowed to go to the clubs. Otherwise, it makes you a loser. First of all, think for your fucking self. Stop walking around following some another man's mindset. What are you doing? Go and live your own life. If you like clubbing, go and do some clubbing. But earn it first. Make sure you've worked for it. Make sure you've made some money. Make sure you've worked on your business. This extremist mindset of, oh, I'm never allowed to do this ever again is exactly why you keep relapsing. It's exactly why you keep getting the urge to go and watch porn again. Because you're restricting yourself off. You've just got to flow through life with this open mindset. And give yourself the freedom of choice to do whatever you want to do. If I feel like playing some fucking video games, bro, my mates are getting on, I'm going to go play. I'm going to do push-ups every single time I die. And in between rounds, I'm going to go make some community posts on YouTube and make some fucking money. Why? There is no set path in life. There is no set way of doing it. There's no set way of success. And I understand it's nice for the ego for you to believe, well, if I'm on self-improvement and I do everything that Hamza says, then I'll be successful too. It doesn't work like that. It does not work like that at all. I, I, point proven. I've literally proven it to you in real time. I can wake up the next morning after getting blackout drunk from a night out and still make more money than most guys make in an entire week, purely just online. Just sat online on my phone making more money than guys making a week after a night out. After I got absolutely wasted off whiskey and vodka and Jaeger bombs that my mate's shoving in my face. That's fun. I fucking love that, bro. And we laugh about it because you guys sat in my comments saying, hello, I'm a degenerate. We laugh at you. We're sat in the taxi on the way there and we're like, boys, we're going to we get absolutely degenerate tonight. We're going to have a fucking degenerate night. And we're laughing about it. Like, yeah, boys, we're degenerates tonight. We're going to see who could be the, the biggest degenerate. And we just laugh. It's a joke to us. Because these guys, anyone that says this shit, anyone that goes in the comments and says haram or degenerate is ignorant. It, they really are. Have no, they have no real perception of what reality is actually like. They're stuck in this extremist, egotistical mindset. As if I am on self-improvement, <laughs> so I'm better than you. I've never been on self-improvement because number one, it's fucking nerdy. And number two, I'm, I, am, I am my own man. I live my life the way I want to live it. I do what I want to do following Hamza I, I love Hamza by the way there's no disrespect I absolutely love the guy I've learned a shit ton from him but I'm not just going to blindly follow I'm not going to identify myself as the guy that's on a movement what is the, right? can you see how nerdy this is and I'm not trying to insult anybody I'm not trying to come across as disrespectful in this video I'm just trying to tell you it's okay to fucking enjoy your life it's okay to wake up and think you know what I want to eat a fucking donut go and do it but make sure you're doing your push-ups first make sure you're earning this shit Everything in life is literally about balance. It's yin and yang. That's the beauty of the universe. What is the point in you being on self-improvement and you going to the gym every day and building your body and becoming attractive and you meditating so your mindset and your mental health is great and you gratitude journaling and you know all of this stuff, What improving your social skills and confidence. What's the point in doing all of this if you never actually take time to enjoy what you've built? What's the point in making loads of money if you never take time to just fucking spend loads of money on shit? And on a night out or something, just buy loads of shots and enjoy yourself. Maybe that's not enjoyable for you and that's fine. But I'm sure you have some quote-unquote degenerate things that you actually enjoy doing. Whether that's casual sex, whether it's drinking, whether it's fucking cocaine on the weekends, whether it's video games. I'm not promoting these things. I'm not telling you go out and drink. I'm not promoting any of this stuff. Drinking is very, very bad for you. It will fuck your liver up. It will really damage your health. It will lower your testosterone. I'm not saying that it's good for you. I'm not promoting it. I'm saying I enjoy it. It's fun for me, so I'm going to do it every now and then. Do you know why? Because on the other end of the spectrum, on the other end of the scale of life, I work very fucking hard every single day. As you can tell, I've never missed a day for the past, how long have I been uploading for? 
No idea now. Nearly a fucking year or some shit. I don't even know, bro. I've lost track and I haven't missed a day. I've uploaded every single day. My work ethic is through the roof. No one in the YouTube game is competing with me at my level. In this small YouTuber space, I've breezed past everybody. Do you know why? Because I work fucking harder than them. It's as simple as that. Because I want it. Because I'm not a degenerate. And it's funny because these little incels are sat in the bedroom on the keyboards thinking that, oh, well, I'm on self-improvement, so <laughs> I'm better than you, Luke. I'm on a night out laughing at your fucking comments because you look like a nerd, you look like a virgin. I'm getting absolutely wasted and I'll still come back the next day and I'm still achieving more in one day. When, I'm, when I've got a hangover and I'm still slightly drunk and I'm stumbling out of bed, I will still get more done than you who sat on self-improvement being a little virgin, trying not to wank himself off. Enjoy your life. What's the point in you being on self-improvement and being disciplined if you never fucking enjoy yourself, man? What's the point in living? You're going to look back on... I remember I did a coaching call with this guy once and he gave me a really, really good analogy. He said, life is kind of like a video game. It's like someone passes you a video game and you can play the video game, but at some point you've got to return it. And when you return it, you're never allowed to play it ever again. Now, what you're doing, what these self-improvement extremist guys are doing, that, oh, you know, I'm not allowed balance, I'm never allowed to use this ever again, I'm never allowed to drink ever again, ever, because I'm a failure and a failed self-improvement. Those guys play the video game in business mode. They're trying to make as much money as possible, right? When they return the game back, the guy asks them, did you enjoy that? Did you have fun playing that video game? The video game is life, if you haven't caught on already. And the self-improvement guy goes, well, you know, I built a really nice body and I make loads of money, but... Uh, that's kind of all I did. I just did loads of missions. I just made loads of money. Well, but did you enjoy it though? Did you have fun? Uh, not really. I just made loads of money. I was just disciplined forever. <laughs> and I never took time to enjoy the game. That's what you guys are doing. Life is literally, it is literally a game. Nothing, none of this shit matters. You're literally going to die one day and all of the stuff that you've worked for is completely irrelevant. Fair enough, you'll probably change some lives, whatever. You might leave a legacy behind. Yeah, yeah, I understand all that kind of stuff. It's beautiful. You'll leave an amazing family behind, blah, blah, blah. But in the real grand scheme of things, thinking 100 years from now, none of it fucking matters. Everything's a game. Everything is temporary. But that is not to say be a degenerate. I'm not saying enjoy your life by fucking your life up. Work for this degenerate activities. Work for your fun time. Work for your play time. Work hard and then play hard as well. What's that saying, bro? All work and no play make Jack, makes Jack a dull boy. That's true, bro. You, you're boring as fuck. If you just sit in your room all day and on your fucking nerdy incel computer doing your work and doing your business and going to the gym and that's all you do ever, you, you're just a boring guy. And I'm not trying to say this to insult anybody, but please stop being so extreme. And I'm saying it with passion because I used to be the guy who never use social media ever again, never drink ever again, never do anything fun ever again because I've got to be disciplined. Cold showers always forever. I used to be that guy. I've done it. I lived that life. Yeah, it's great. And you make progress. Of course you do. But you're not, you're not having fun. It's, it's Honestly, it's boring. You're not having any fun. It's fun improving yourself. It's fun seeing progress. It's fun becoming a better version of yourself. Of course. But life is to be enjoyed. And if you enjoy doing things like sometimes playing video games with the boys and just absolutely belly laughing because your mate said something stupid when he got shot in the head or some bullshit. You know, like those moments, man, is, the little things like that makes life good. It makes life worth it it makes the suffering worth it it makes the discipline that you're putting in every single day worth it me chilling with my girl and eating donuts greg's donuts and a domino's pizza at three in the morning just fucking sat there being lazy lazy degenerates that is fun as fuck and it makes the discipline that i put in every single day it makes the work that i put in every single day absolutely worth it because i know at the end of the week i'm gonna go see my girl and we're just gonna be lazy together and we're just gonna just live in that comfort bubble for for a weekend or something but I've worked for it all week, non-stop. All I've done is be disciplined and do what I'm supposed to do. So every now and then, it's fine to enjoy your life and be a quote-unquote degenerate and do haram things. If that, it's, if that gives you enjoyment, do what you fucking want. There is no set way of living life. Get out my fucking comments with, you, with your religious shit. Find Jesus, find Jesus. Lord is the saviour. I'm not religious, bro. How many times do I have to tell you? Comment that all you want. I'm not going to go looking for Jesus and go and pick up a Bible. It's just not happening. Right? Now... If you don't agree with that, fair enough. What are you worried about me for? I'm simply here to just give you lessons that I've learned through real life experience. I'm not sat reading books. I'm not sat on the internet watching red pill shit all day. I go out and I live my life. I learn things through true pain and true hardship and I simply feed it back to you. That is my job on YouTube. I'm not on self-improvement. I'm not a fucking self-improvement YouTuber. I don't do any of this weird nerdy shit. Okay, so stop associating me as one of these guys. 
So when you see me in the club, understand that's me because I'm, I'm living my life. I'm simply just showcasing my life. I'm not a self-improvement YouTuber. I don't care. Do what you want, bruv. Do what you want, but just live a fucking good life. That's what I preach. Be positive. Be nice to be around. Be polite. Be kind to people. Be a gentleman. Look after the women in your life. Look after your mum. Retire your parents. Make loads of fucking money. Be strong. Be healthy. And most importantly, just fucking enjoy your one spin that you've got on this earth. That is my advice. Not, you must wake up and meditate and go to the gym and never ever drink ever again if you want to be successful. Nah, bro. Watch me drink and still make more money than you. Watch me. And it's the same goes with this no-fap shit, bro. It's weird as fuck. I don't masturbate. I don't watch porn. I'm not promoting any of that. But I'm just saying, identifying as the guy that's on no-fap is just weird. Just And honestly, you'll probably be better. You, In fact, I know you'll be better. You will have better progress on no-fap if you stop identifying as the guy that's on no-fap. Guarantee you that right now. If you just live your life and you take actions in and out of your life as you see fit, you will do so much better because you're giving yourself freedom of choice. You're not identifying yourself to a religion or to a movement or to this or to that. You're just living your life how you want to live it as one individual. So I hope this has kind of opened your eyes a little bit to my perspective on life so you can stop coming in my comments and calling me degenerate when I'm in the club. I don't care. I'm laughing at you because I know I'm being a degenerate. I'm not saying that it's good. I'm not saying that it's healthy and it's good for you to go to the club and, and party and drink loads of alcohol. I've never ever promoted that, but I enjoy it. And if you do too, great. Fucking enjoy your life, man. If you enjoy waking up and never going to the club and never spending time with girls because I'm focusing on myself, King, and taking cold showers forever for the rest of... I actually do that. I only ever take cold showers, to be fair. Every now and then, I might take a hot one if it's in the evening. But, you know, if you enjoy those things, fair enough. But it's no right of yours to come in anyone else's life and try and push your worldview onto them. They're never going to listen to you if you do it like that. And it just makes you look like a bit of an egotistical dickhead. No one wants to be around the guy that's like, do this, bro, do that, do that, live like this, live like that. It's, bro, I'm telling you, it's just embarrassing, so please stop it, okay? Anyway, the coaching is down below in the description if you want to learn more from me and the way that I like to view the world and none of these self-improvement guys. Because I understand sometimes, because I used to be there myself, that it is a bit toxic. It's a bit unhealthy to view the world in that mindset. of like, oh, I'm never allowed to do this ever again. So if you want to learn from my mindset and kind of just free yourself from that weird self-improvement extremist kind of mindset, the coaching is down below in the description. I've also got a video course on sexual mastery. If you would like to go and view that and at least take a look at it, if you are struggling with anything in the bedroom, whether it's your porn addiction or premature ejaculation or erectile dysfunction, whatever it may be, that's in the description as well. Go and check that out and uh, sort yourself out. I'll see you soon. Look after yourself.